I am Jonathan Regeer with richgirlnetwork.tv. We're here at the historic Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel for the premiere and green carpet of the Dances with Films Film Festival. We're going to be speaking to writers, directors, producers, and actors on many different films here in the festival. So follow me to the green carpet and keep watching richgirlnetwork.tv. Tell us about your film and how you're involved. Um, I'm the director. My movie is called The Art of Protest. And uh, it's a look at a bunch of different kind of protest movements, um, both historical and current day, and the artwork that kind of drives those movements. That's fascinating. And I understand it's opening tonight. It, where can we follow you on social media? Uh, at Seats on Titanic on Instagram is my most active. Uh, and then I think, um, I think it's CMD Films on Twitter. All right, congratulations. Could you tell us about uh, how you were involved with the film? Yes, yeah, so um, I'm Colin Day's, the director's partner, for about 12 years now, and anything that he's involved in, I'm involved in by em emotional support, of course, and then a lot of transportation with a lot of equipment and everything that he has to do with like all the gear, all the shooting, like no matter where he's at, and whenever they're doing things like protest art, I'm always like well aware to to make sure my phone is handy just in case any calls have to be made to me to pick somebody up. But I'm that I'm the support that way. That's great. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing it. Thank you so much. It looks like you wore a lot of hats in this film. What birthed this idea? Well, um, I think it started when I met Chris Kozak, the, the other actor in the film. Um, we both play music, we both had experience playing in bands before, and we decided to make a film about two musicians and their experience. Kind of the, the struggle of when, like how, how much sacrifice you're willing to make for your art, and when do you give up, if, if at all. So that's, that's how it started. That's great. We look forward to seeing it. Oh, could you tell us your social media so we could follow you? Yeah, it's uh, at Signa Miss Sylvie on Instagram and Facebook. Hi, Christopher. What role do you play in the film and what instrument do you play in the film? Yes, I play uh, David in the film Signa Miss Sylvie um, and I play guitar and vocals. That's great. And what is your social media? Um, it is at CSA Kozak as well as Sing to Me Sylvie. Uh, can you tell us what was unique about your film and uh, just about the process? Oh, uh, sure. My film is called What? It is unique indeed. It is a black and white film, silent moving, like uh, in the era of Charlie Chaplin. It is a full 90 minute film, silent film with deaf actors. We had deaf investors, deaf producers, deaf DPs. I am hearing as the director, but I do know sign language. And yeah, that makes our movie different. That's incredible. So do you have uh, subtitles for those who don't speak sign language? Yes, actually when you're watching the film, you will see sign language. It's American sign language. You'll see German sign language, sign language from Spain, and you are able to understand all of the dialogue because words appear on the screen, sometimes as captions and then sometimes throughout the film on boards or signs. That's fascinating. What, when can we see the premiere of your film? The film What? will premiere September the 9th, 7 p.m. here at Dances with Films. Hi, Gina. What is your film about and why are you excited to share it with us? Uh, my film is Untold. This is my story. It's actually my personal story of surviving a, a child abduction uh, when I was eight years old. I jumped out of a moving car and it's my journey dealing with PTSD and getting to the other side. So the goal of my film is to help people get to the other side of dealing with trauma. That is fascinating. Where can we find you on social media so we can watch the film and follow all you're doing? Uh, you can follow us at, on Facebook at, at uh, Untold Movie. Um, our website is untold-movie.com. You can follow me at Gina M. Garcia Official and also at Gina M. Garcia on um, Instagram. Sorry. Chelsea, what is your film about and how were you involved? Uh, so my film is called Bleeding Audio. It's about a band called The Matches and we use their story to dig deeper into how the industry has changed for artists in the digital era. And uh, I'm the director and, you know, 
indie filmmaking, so I'm the director, producer, you know, I did a lot. <laughs> That's great. What's your social media so we can follow and watch the films? Yeah, so uh, my personal social media is at Chelsea Christer on Instagram and at Chelsea Mark on Twitter. And then for the film, it's at Leading Audio Film on Instagram and at Leading Underscore Audio on Twitter. Thank you so much. All right. Hi, Gregory. What is your film about and how are you involved? Yeah, the film name uh, Popovich Road to Hollywood. This is a slapstick physical comedy. I grew up in circus family and uh, 25 years I work in the physical comedian. And I would like to bring a uh, spirit of the classical physical comedian to the silver screen. Rex and Sebastian, they helped me during this film. That's great. Uh, what's your social media or how can we watch this film? Uh, this uh, will be uh, war, uh, film uh, premiere September 5th, 5 p.m. And uh, one more thing important, I bring my pets uh, from the Las Vegas where I used to work, especially for the pre-screening live show. It will be 15 minutes live show with cats, dog, physical comedy, and then will be filmed. So for one ticket, people can see two shows. That's great. Thank you so much. John and Andy, what is your film about and how did you come up with the concept? Well, it's a documentary, so it's a story from real life, uh, my life actually, uh, from when I was a kid growing up in Ohio. I really, when I, I always said when I grew up I wanted to make movies, but the, the key to it was that I wanted uh, Ike Eisenman, who was a teen actor, Disney star Big at the Disney time. Guy big Disney guy. I wanted him to be uh, the star of one of my films. So that kind of set in motion this long series of events that didn't really come to a conclusion until 40 years into it. So Wow. Dream come true story 40 years later. Yeah. Yeah. And how are you? How did you come to be involved, Eddie? I'm the producer and uh, I, I play a key role, but we can't tell you because it's a spoiler. It's a spoiler um, but I, I do appear in the film. That's great. We look forward to uh, seeing with that surprise. Yes. It's a big and, and the title is Dear Ike, Lost Letters to a Teen Idol. And where can we follow you on social media? Uh, the easiest thing would probably go to be to go to the website, which is dearike.com, and you'll find all the links to the social media there. And Facebook and Instagram. Right. Thank you. Yeah. That sounds perfect. Thank Kevin you. And Christopher, we'd love to know what your film is about and how you're involved. We're, we're the co-directors of Vinyl Nation, which is a feature-length documentary about the comeback of vinyl records in America, which has been going on for the last 15 years, and the connective power of music around those black, flat, plastic objects called vinyl records. Yeah, and Kevin's the one who came up with the idea, and he approached me with it, and we both got back into records somewhere between 2007 and 2014 individually, and we realized there are a lot more people there getting into it, so we're wondering why this resurgence has lasted for 15 years. So we went all over the country, 14 different cities, interviewing every different type of person that you could find that's in the vinyl records, and it's just been great to find, you know, talk to those people and how they all connect over vinyl records. That's great. We look forward to seeing it. Thank you. Hi, David. That's such an, an interesting title. What is your film about? Ru oh, boy. Uh, Rust Belt Driller. It's, it's actually a homage to uh, Abel Ferrara's Driller Killer, but wider. It's, it's actually like a throwback. It's a shout out to the 1980s style New York grindhouse uh, low budget movie making. So it's, you know, it's gritty, it's grimy, it's sweaty, uh, it's bloody, it's gory, it's it's strange, it's, it's very strange. Uh, it's probably the perfect midnight movie. Um, but it's... It also says something, I think, anyways, it says something about the toxicity of s celebrity and about the fact that media, this constant barrage of media that surrounds us is basically driving us all nuts. All right, Jackie, what is one thing about your film you want everyone to, lo to know? I want to show a story about time traveling to uh, all my audience uh, because essentially when I, what got me, what inspired me about this story is the essence of you know, all the mystery, all the paranormal activities that I want to convey the message to my audience that nothing is impossible in the world. And 
uh, throughout the entire story, I added some ups and downs, twists and turns to kind of relate, to kind of kind of tie to some some of the socially relevant uh, issues that exist in the society. So throughout the story, I hope that the audience could, you know, could enjoy um, those twists and turns in the p uh, paranormal activities that I uh, that our team brought to. Uh, the audience to the world. That's great. Thank you so much. Well, Tom, what is one thing you'd like everyone to know about your involvement with this project? I thought the casting was really good and the chemistry between the actors worked really well. I think every actor was uh, believably cast. If the casting's wrong, you can ruin a film. You know what I mean? You got to be believable in the character and, and that's really important. I think Jackie did a great job with that. Thank you so much. All right, Stephen Tate, what is one thing you want everyone to know about your film? We have really great swag. Here's we have heart-shaped baseball. Stress ball. <laughs> and uh, our postcards are baseball cards. Uh, the movie's a sports rom-com. It's a feature film. In competition here at Dance with the Films. That sounds great. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, Paula and Charlie, what is one thing you want everyone to know about your film? I want them to know that if we can make a film uh, while I'm pregnant with us as leads and two-man crew, then everyone should feel empowered to tell their tales. That's inspiring. Thank you so much. All right, Lowell and Lane, I only have time for one question. And so split it between you. What is one thing you want everyone to know about your film? Uh, Attic Name Hell is a film about the community that is made in recovery uh, with people trying to get sober from drugs and alcohol. And I know it's sometimes a cliche, but I think one thing is, is that this film really could save lives if people saw this film and made any different decision about uh, a bad situation that they're in. Um, it could save, it could literally save their lives. So. Thank you so much. That's important work. Amy, we only have time for one question. What is the one thing you want everyone to know about your film? Um, it's unfortunately, it's very timely. It's about an Asian American cop who killed an innocent black man in the projects in New York. So yeah, I'm, I'm, we're very happy to be a part of the festival. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing it. Uh, Lauren and Erica, I only have time for one question. What is the one thing you want people to know about your film? Uh, what do you think? That women and magic mushrooms are totally cool. I couldn't agree more. That's great. That's awesome. Thank you. Bridget and Victoria, I only have time for one question, so split it between you. What's one thing you want everyone to know about your involvement with this film? Um, so, uh, we actually wrote this film when we were 17 years old. Um, and we met because we played Sisters on Law and Order, and we both star in the film, and it's really a passion project for us. Yeah, it was a great for us, a great way for us as actresses to take a little bit of agency and create roles that we want to play that are two-dimensional and really propel our futures forward. I'm 20. I'm also 20. That's great. We look forward to seeing it. Thank you. All right, Nick and Julie, I only have time for one question. What is one thing you want everyone to know about your film? That comedy is vital for helping us heal from any tragedy, large or small. Yeah, too, too soon. Um, comedy after 9-11, it's, um, you know, it's about how even when it seems like we'll never laugh again, um, that we need to, we need to talk about what we went through and that's what helps us process tragedies. That's great, thank you so much. All right, Ariel and Matthew, I only have time for one question, so split it between you. What is one thing you want everyone to know about your film? It is a thriller uh, set in the coast of Maine, uh, and it uh, follows a woman's return to her estranged family, and she gets involved in drug smuggling that's taking place along the coast among these lobstermen. That sounds exciting. Yeah, and aesthetically, totally gorgeous, looks wonderful, really quiet, lovely, intense performances. It's a really, really great film. Thank you, congratulations. Wow, what an amazing green carpet. We were filled to the max, so I couldn't ask as many questions as I wanted to. We still had a wonderful night, and you saw all the quality filmmakers there. So my name is Jonathan Regeer. Keep watching richgirlnetwork.tv.